hello, my name is Andy Tattersall. I'm an information specialist based here at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. The purpose of this video is to be part of a series of videos called App Hacks. These videos are primarily designed and been created for students in a medical and health setting, uh, but there are some generic apps in here that we're going to talk about for students to use and for anyone to use if they so wish. And this next one that I'm going to talk about is Evernote. It's the kind of the online note taking tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill down a little bit and show you a bit more what you could do in Evernote. This is what Evernote looks like. And of course, say you, you may use Evernote on your laptop more, you may use it on your desktop, but when you are on the go, uh, attending conferences, seminars, etc., then um, it's quite useful to uh, take notes like this. So you can take notes as single little notes or you can take them as notebooks. So it's quite often good to kind of perhaps do notebooks. And what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to create a new notebook by this menu here. If I click new notebook and I will give it a name. So I'm going to call it seminar test. So I will click that and that will now give me instructions. I can create checklists. I can do photographs. I can leave post memo. I can do all sorts of things all in the same note. Um, so in the top right hand corner you can see there's a plus button and if I press that I've then got the option of doing these things above. I've got like the reminder, a photo, I can draw, I can leave text. So I'm going to just start and type some text and along the bottom halfway up the screen I've got a selection of uh, familiar uh, icons, bold, italic, underscore, strike through, highlight, uh, number, bullet points, etc, checklist. I've got the justification as well and edit, undo and redo. So I'll just put in, uh, select a number, number one, and I will type in something, test, hit, record, hit return, and that gives me number two. So we'll put test two, hit return, and you get the, you get the gist. So this works just like any kind of note, note taking. Now, um, so I'm at a seminar, I've been taking some notes, a poster comes up or something I want to capture, and what I do is I can then select the image icon, the picture icon above, like so, and that will want to get access to my camera. So take a picture of Dan. Say hello, Dan. Hello. And um, there you go. So I've now taken a picture and I'll click save, like so. So in here, you can see I've got my text. I've got a picture of Dan. And I can also then go in and uh, annotate. I can make notes. I can scribble notes. So there's a little pen icon there. And I can start to do things like that so you know if I see I see someone's done a graph and they've done this and uh, they've then kind of highlighted it like so and they found let's change the color that actually in this year it did that and you want to kind of you want to kind of make some rough note of that you do do that click done so you can see now I've got my text I've got my picture of Dan and I've got my uh, rough drawing so it's very very useful the next thing is I can also, if I if I click this, I can leave a audio recording. So uh, if you're going to record someone, it's always good to get their permission. So if you go to a seminar and say, um, I w I'd like to record you, um, always ask people because I don't think they take kindly, and quite rightly so, if you suddenly record them and, and start to share it. And I'll click done. And now my audio recording, which is uh, an M.4 file, um, is below there as well. If I click save, I'll not upgrade. I've now got this note here. I've got this complete note here. I've got audio. I've got an audio clip. I've got. I've got Dan. I've got my text, uh, and I've got this one note like so. So again, if I click on it, it brings everything up. It's all there. You may not see the actual graph that I've drawn in that kind of brief synopsis, but um, you can actually see that everything is there. And there's the audio. And if I press play. Uh, audio play. I've got the I've got the iPad turned down, but you can see the audio moving along the top. So that's there as well. You have to trust me that that works. You can just save simple kind of notes. You can just kind of uh, create a, a note. You can create a reminder. If I click the reminder button, I can put a task in. So let's say fetch the milk as a task, like so, and click notify me. And I will remind myself on Sunday at nine o'clock to fetch the milk. I'm sure this will surprise me when it happens. Click set, click save, and I've now got a reminder as well. I can go into lists, and again, I can create a list of, of things here. Uh, this could be a to-do list, 
uh, something that you need to do so I'll delete that draft so you've got lists and you've got the ability just to record audio so you can do all of these things that I've done in a notebook which is down there on the menu on uh, on the left hand side what you can actually do individual notes so you can you can save web clipped articles you can do this on the desktop you can just write notes and they don't have to necessarily sit within a notebook think of it as a scrap of paper and a notebook they both have different purposes scrap of paper you might just need once quick throwable the notebook may be an ongoing thing part of a project part of your, uh, your dissertation part of a particular uh, uh, course that you're studying on so it is a very very useful way to work like I say you could just go in and type any old text down like so and save that and then that new note will appear like so uh, you then need to go in and edit it just so you know what it is so I'll remove the note and let's call it test three and, and click done so I've now got that I've now got my test three there on the left hand side I've got my fetch the milk I've also got my uh, audio camera roll and snapshot which again I can just click on that and um, I can go in and edit that if I so wish so there's lots and lots of things that you can do with um, uh, with uh, Evernote lots of things you can do you can go and set favorite them as well and start on the left hand side but this is kind of a relatively brief overview uh, and again one of these apps very most for the most part self-intuitive uh, easily easy easy to learn and people will use different aspects of it so it's one just to show you some of the capabilities and how you could use that uh, as a student uh, to kind of collect notes from lectures and conferences and events that you may attend hopefully useful for you